before all that shit, um, Biggie had issues with E40, and he was out. I in the didn't bay. know that. He was out in the bay. Looked that up. He was out in the bay, and E40 almost had him jump. So he had tension already coming to the West Coast, and these niggas was gangsters. You have dudes have nothing to do with the music business will kill Biggie. Anybody from the West? Oh, we don't like him because what's happening? Blood. We beat them little seventeen year old knucklehead niggas. They will bust on him. Nigga, stay. He on the radio station. Hey, I love LA. Uh, we don't give a fuck about that shit. We'll kill you, nigga. And Tupac did. He had a target on his motherfucking head. I was like, oh, this nigga stupid. He on the radio station letting everybody know he out here? He just put a target on his head. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, I'm gonna fast forward because I know you was around during this era as well because this is another thing that had to do with Suge was around during this time. Uh, a lot of people say this and that about it. The day when Biggie came and uh, got killed here after Pac had passed away, Mm -hmm. And he he had a song, uh, he's going going back back to Cali. When the la la hits your lyrics, just picture head so hard that your hat can't fit you. And Melvin Farmer say that on the streets of Cali, it was saying people saying to get killed, to get killed, to get killed if he come down here. Fucked up when when uh, it was the East Coast versus the West Coast. Nah, I was out. Did, what did you think about that when that was going on? Well, I had a different mindset. Like when Biggie was talking about he coming to Cali, Cali, the niggas in California was saying to get killed, to get killed, to get killed. Are you going back? I'm going back to, to Cali. Cali. And they was waiting on him saying, yeah, you're coming back to get killed. Going back to Cali, strictly for the weather, women and the weed, sticky green, no seeds, bitch, please. You know what? When you knew he was coming up here or whatever, did you feel like there would be tension for him coming to California, or did you feel like it's a it's a it's okay, it's not a no fly zone, it would be all right if he just come and perform, and then you know he would be good to go back? How did Clint Payback Sands look at it from the time when you knew Biggie was coming? You know, he it was word that Biggie coming to Cali. Mm -hmm. Pac is dead. Yep. What did you think? I thought he was stupid as fuck, and the whole uh, uh, bad boy team is stupid as a motherfucker. Because before all that shit, um, Biggie had issues with E40, and he was out. I in the didn't bay. know that. He was out in the bay. Looked that up. He was out in the bay, and E40 almost had him jump. So he had tension already coming to the West Coast, and these niggas was gangsters. You have dudes have nothing to do with the music business will kill. Biggie, anybody from the West. Oh, we don't like him cuz, what's happening, blood? We beat them little 17 year old knucklehead niggas. They'll bust on him. Nigga, stay, he on the radio station. Hey, I love LA. Uh, we don't give a fuck about that shit. We'll kill you, nigga. And Tupac did? He had a target on his motherfucking head. I was like, oh, this nigga stupid. He on the radio station letting everybody know he out here? He just put a target on his head. I was like, dog, you need to get the fuck out of here. He don't know what he's dealing with, cuz everybody think they look at the beach and they look at TV and they see Tom Cruise and Movie stars, it's safe. No, it ain't a it's bunch of safe. ignorant motherfucking killers out here for no reason at all. That would wow. knock your head off, and that's what that's what I think. That's what I thought happened. Yeah, it, it looks like the police did it. It's a couple of different and, situations. But I felt like when he was on the radio, I said, "Dog, like, he is stupid as hell. He don't know what he's dealing with, man." He thought, it was, he thought it was shit. sweet. He yeah. thought it was cool. You can't come out of that. I don't care a fuck how much security you got. This mo nigga, it'll be thirty motherfucking crips with guns. So it was crazy for him to even. It was think. stupid, nigga. You playing with you doing? But I, I like I said, he. They don't know what they was dealing with. You, you can't come to L. A. Well, you still can't come to L. A. On that bullshit with that little rapper that got killed at the Roscoe. I was about to ask you about that. P. M. B. Rock. You, think, you can't come out. So, but in, in cases like that, would you positively say that anybody can get got with the right amount of money behind the? Yeah. Can anybody like? There's nobody that's safe. Anybody Hell can no. get got with the right amount of money set up. Not even the money. It's just you come across the wrong person, mm -hmm. you have the little knuckleheads down to shoot you for free. They ain't gonna, mm. they don't want nothing. Wow. It ain't about no money. It's, it's loyalty. It's everything else. That dude did something to me. Oh, I got you, homie. I, you got to be careful, man. Mm. Man, I try so not to diss nobody because that person that I'm dissing might not be mad, but his homie might be mad when it prove himself to his friend and do something to me. Oh, man. That's, mm. So how, I thought Biggie was how, stupid as how hell. <laughs> the check-in thing. The wait check a minute, wait thing. a minute. You, we got to talk about this because it's a lot of people I've had on the show and I've been asking them about checking in. Um, basically, uh, some people feel like check-in is appropriate. Others feel like it's exploiting certain situations. Some people say um, that 
nobody of the other people that don't look like us are not checking in. What is the situation with check in for you on the West Coast with people that's coming into these areas and them just basically exploring the areas and going anywhere and doing anything? What would you suggest? Um, if you don't know LA, you come from somewhere else, stay your ass in Hollywood, stay near your hotel. Um, Cause they're not just out there walking around like, oh boy, who got shot was in deep South Central hood. Somebody walking down the street said, oh, blood over there and got him. Somebody just living in the neighborhood. P&B Rock. Yeah, P&B Rock. They just, oh, he over here? They but just, I heard he was actually living here in Vegas too, so they should have. No, in, in the Cali. But but I'm saying, he, he ain't. I mean in Cali, so. He in, he in South Central with his big old gold chain and diamonds and he on this video on YouTube counting mad bread. So they're like, oh, he a lick. They came to rob him, but I, I guess whatever, something happened, he got shot, but, you know, God bless him and his family, but you don't come in LA, that's like Right. Believe it or not, we were at that particular one. Was it that one that we were at when the lady, I think it was Manchester that one. Manchester. Yeah. She told me that somebody had just like, ran right. in there and and robbed somebody this was some months for they right changed uh, uh, at, the, at the door. Okay. For, it frequently happens. For you uh, visiting motherfuckers, there's five or six Roscoe's. Go to the one off Sunset and Gower. That's Hollywood. Don't go, go to none of the other ones. No, nope, don't, don't go to La Brea. Don't go to La Brea. There's Bloods and Crips over there. Stay your ass at the Gower. Because there's a police station down the street. So a lot of niggas don't really, the riders ain't walking down. They don't live in that neighborhood or nothing. Pico and, and um, Pico and La Brea niggas live in that neighborhood. They'll walk up to the to the Roscoe's and rob mm -hmm. your ass. You know what I'm saying? There's one on La Cienega in Manchester and Inglewood. Don't go to that one. Mm -hmm. Shiny, you know what I'm saying? The one on Broadway and um in Manchester. Don't go to that one either. Stay your ass away from the hood. That shit ain't cute. Don't think oh, I don't go to the hood. It's fun. Oh, I went to the South Central. Do you nigga. go? Hell, well I go, but I ain't going out there. You know what I'm saying? Flossing Blinged and, up and loose. Stuff. Yeah, I ain't doing all that shit. But I do go you think they lose, do you think they lose money though, Roscoe's by people? You know, no, scared niggas to go. Niggas love food. We know what it was. You out here high signing. You out here with just. Hundred thousand dollar necklace on and counting thirty million racks. We think you got bread. We gonna rob your ass. Because I've asked some rappers even after that. I'm like, okay, so the, would you be? Would you walk more selectively when you, especially in Cali, when you go certain places? Would you tuck it in or leave it at home or leave? It? No, I'm from where what I wear. I bought this. I'm not gonna scared to make nobody. You know that type of tough guy. Right. Mentality. My condolences are uh, in advance. <laughs> <laughs> you go, all right, you go out there, you bulletproof. Superman is bulletproof. If you ain't Superman, stay your ass out the way, man. You tripping. Yeah. Tuck that chain, put all that shit in the hotel safe, and then go out and enjoy yourself. Man, you too stupid to be out there thinking you're that tough. Man. You ain't bulletproof, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.